Um, today, I try to demonstrate an uh, example to apply variadic template to C style code. Okay. And we're good to go? So. Oh, sorry. We're yeah. good to go. So. Yeah, okay. Um, so, when I learned about variadic template, my first impression was, oh, nice, but when and where can I actually use it? And I didn't have a good chance to use it for a while. And, um, but a couple months ago, when I was using SQLite library, um, I realized it's very useful and I, want, I wanted to um, share my experience with everyone here. Um, actually, later uh, I found very good video uh, called Modern, uh, SQLite with Modern C++ by Mr. Kenikar. And um, his video covers a lot more than my talk, uh, but I think I can add one more trick and introduce one feature from C++ 17. Okay, uh, this is a problem to think about. Imagine there is a SQLite database with student, ta student table and teacher's table. And I need to write functions to insert uh, records into these tables by using SQLite library. So here's the C-style solution. Uh, just, I just use the SQLite API uh, directly. Let me go through and check if database is open and call prepare function, and call bind function for the first argument, and call another bind function for the second argument, and finally call step function. It's super straightforward. And pretty much the same for teacher's function, uh, teacher's table, um, except teacher's table has uh, three columns, so I had to call uh, bind the function three times. Well, in this uh, talk, uh, just to get to the point quickly, I introduce uh, ob uh, overloaded bind function here. And also, uh, I forget about uh, prepare part and prepare part and step part and focus on generalizing uh, binding part. So my goal is to write um, generic bind all function uh, that would replace binding section oh, sorry, to something like this. And it looks simple, but before C++11, uh, it wasn't so easy to implement because um, the number of arguments can be so many and data type of each argument may vary. So with variadic template, um, here is the one way to implement. Uh, this is uh, for the declaration, and this is termination, and this is expansion part. And inside there, call bind function for the first argument, and expand template recursively for the rest of the argument. It works well, and I was happy, but my boss, my boss told me uh, there's a better way. And uh, he said I shouldn't, I shouldn't write complicated recursive expansion, but I should be doing uh, parameter pack expansion like this, just this one line. And so let me explain what this one line does. Um, call bind function for each argument and returns a list of zero. Actually, the list of zero is a byproduct. So we can ignore it. That's what this void implies. With um, hold expression in C++ 17, actually it gets even better. We can just write this. And there is no byproduct or nothing, and it's really clear, so I really like it. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much.